Hey guys, welcome back today. In this video, we will talk about Wheatstone Bridges. A typical Wheatstone Bridge looks like this. It has four resistances, namely R1, R2, R3, and R4. A battery is connected. and a galvanometer is connected from point A to point B to measure the current on the galvanometer. Now R1 and R4 resistances are known to us. R2 resistance is a variable resistance and R3 resistance is a unknown resistance. And we wish to find the resistance of R3. So, by using the formula R1 upon R2 is equal to R4 upon R3 we can calculate the unknown resistance which comes out to be R4 upon R1 into R2 now let's talk about how to find, find the unknown resistance for that we should know the R1 and R4 resistance and then we have to adjust the variable R2 resistance till we will get 0 amps on the galvanometers. At the point we get the 0 resistance, we will use this formula and the value of R2 which is a variable resistance value to get the value of R3 which is an unknown resistance. Now let's take an example and find the value of this resistance with the help of two known resistances R1 and R4 which are of 10k ohms and a variable resistance we will use in place of R2 please note that you should use a variable resistance R2 with its value written on the sides so that you can get the value of the resistance at which the galvanometer shows zero when the galvanometer will show zero i will connect multimeter to it to find its value of resistance instead of galvanometer i will use a multimeter to check the current i will use my lab bench power supply to supply this voltage to the circuit and i will set the voltage to 2 volts now everything is set up and the multimeter is showing 0.13 milliamps and now let's rotate the variable resistor so that we will get 0 amps at the multimeter now at this point we are getting 0 ampere at the multimeter now let's check the resistance of the variable resistor the value of variable resistance comes out to be 1k so now let's put all the values in the formula and find the unknown resistance so we have r1 as 10k r4 as 10k and the variable resistor r2 as 1k and we need to find r3 so we know the formula r1 upon r2 is equal to r4 upon r3 so r3 is equal to r4 upon r1 into r2 now putting the values we have R3 is equal to 10 upon 10 into 1 so R3 resistance comes out to be 1 kilo ohm and this is pretty right answer 
and from this explanation you can see that with the help of Wheatstone bridge you can calculate the unknown resistance very precisely so I think you get what is a Wheatstone bridge and I hope that you like this video please like comment and share this video and if you want to stay tuned with my upcoming videos please subscribe